What are you doing? What's up? You stand up? You stand up? Do it. Come on. Everybody's watching. Pressure's on. You're just going to be a cat and just stare and pretend you don't want to fucking come on. There we go. Hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I'm great. Uh, off to an awkward start here. So I was just scared to edit this video and um, I have to make some changes. I uh, initially started filming this on March, it was either 10th or 11th before things have turned into what they are. And uh, I've, I've went to Lowe's. I've only left the house a couple of times in the last like three weeks because of my shoulder injury and then making sure to isolate just to be safe. You know, I'm trying to social distance myself. I'm trying to do the social distancing as much as possible uh, for the safety of myself and everybody around me and everybody who's not around me. That's, that's the point, right? And then uh, I get word and a little copy from a, a press release from the mayor of St. Louis that they're about to start a uh, mandatory stay-at-home order for St. Louis and St. Louis County. By the time this video comes out, that should be like completely and totally public. There will have been a press conference and everything. But anyways, it just, it made me uh, um, kind of roll back a little bit and go, you know what? I'm not morally comfortable with posting a video that has me out shopping. Gotta support the local businesses, right? Things things got crazy. I just it don't judge me. Shut up, it's fine. Yeah, I got you gotta support the local businesses. I don't know what to say. When I saw that they were shutting the city down, I was like, mm, not my greenscape. You're not nope, nobody's gonna hurt my nursery. My favorite nursery, that is, it's not mine at all. I was going to go to Lowe's to get some azaleas. But instead, like I said, got to support the local companies. How many times have I said that? This will, I'll do a separate video on this stuff, but this, this isn't relevant. So if this video doesn't come out till like 8 o'clock tonight, you know why. Hi, Toby. Don't worry, that pot's secured. I wasn't going to get him. Good boy. Was that fun, Toby? Did you have fun at the nursery? You got to go on a car ride. You weren't expecting this, were you? you good boy. And things are probably going to be a little bit different this year, and I'm okay with that. We got to just roll with it. Right? I just feel like the way things are right now, I am going to just not put those things in the video. Things are, like I said, things are weird right now. Um, at some point when, like, I'm sure everybody's going to be getting cabin fever here pretty soon. May already have it. I'll save all these files and uh, try and put them together in a way where it's just like things are pretty. You know, but uh, it's going to make the vlog kind of weird because it doesn't really have a beginning and end, right? Since it's just going to be all of this stuff right here, that's all going to be gone. So that's what's going on with me. How are you doing? So I'm cutting all that out. So it's going to be weird. I'm just going to jump into <laughs> the part of the video where I show some of the stuff that I got and not everything that I was seeing that I really liked at the store uh, because that'll be relevant because it's stuff that I need to have around for my garden. Every year I plant some lettuce and why am I so, let's just, here, let's just do it. Here we go. See that little thing of lettuce right there? No, you can't see it? All right. Well, you will in a second. We've got some lettuce, pansies, more pansies, dianthus, cat litter, clearance snapdragons, not my favorite color, but it'll do for now. Not a big deal. They were like, I think 50 cents a pop, so I'm definitely not going to complain. I did get an assortment of the lettuce. There are five six packs here. Two of them are the red leaf, and then there's some Swiss chard back here. Also, I usually get three of these every spring. Uh, this year I went ahead and just, I got five because it's mostly for the tortoise and she's growing, so she's going to eat more of this. And this, I mean, this will be gone in absolutely no time. She eats very quickly. And an encore azalea. Did I, have I ever mentioned how much I'm obsessed with the, this, like this particular variety of encore azalea, which is the autumn carnation. It's one of my favorites. They have double pink blooms. And what I like about them the most, like their flowers are beautiful, but it's their foliage. They have fantastic foliage that it's, you can see it starts off lighter green with the new growth and then goes down to a darker green, but it keeps its glossiness to it, which a lot of 
of the more hardy evergreen azaleas don't really do that. And these are good, I think, through 6B or 6A. 6A. And um, I have one of these in the garden already. I've had it for several years, and it's gotten very, very big. But something, pardon the background noise, the neighbors are having a new roof put on. But <laughs> I should have mentioned that probably a minute ago. The one that I have, I, there were, I think, multiple azaleas in the pot and the one that had the most vigor is the one that took off the most and it wasn't the carnation so the carnation's like you see some of it the autumn carnation from down below but the rest of the plant is some other variety so i'm not thrilled about that they had bigger ones but i thought for right now i'm just going to get this little one for right now mentality is a little bit weird because it's like you know every day is different who knows what else is going to happen i also picked up an ivy that i really really enjoy the foliage on it's a golden angel ivy at that variegation on there i mean it's not anything super unusual for an ivy but i think this is going to look nice in some urns and then more pansies these are the i think these are the cool wave aren't they no it's just this trailing pansy potato potato i don't know the difference but that's a trailer so that'll be nice coming over the side of some pots so definitely some stuff to work with here for a while but it's actually supposed to be pretty chilly the next few days so well it's going to be like warm for a day or two then it's going to be in the 30s for a few days spring ushers in because you know the midwest so i'm going to leave these in my car i know that sounds weird but it's what i've always done before if it's just going to be a light frost that's enough to do the tricks i don't think no nah, i don't think the weather is going to really get better until after this vlog comes out so i guess next week we'll get to have fun and play with the plants together that the hammering i don't know how well it's coming through on the camera but it's it's pretty i'm not enjoying it so uh, big change from what was just happening it's been a few days a lot of stuff's been going on but just look at the look at the sky it's so pretty it is actually the first day of spring finally i can't believe it i didn't think that spring was starting for a few more days i thought it was going to be the 21st but it's not it's today apparently it's the 19th look see that first driveway weed of 2020 Oh my gosh, I can see the sky in the driveway puddles. That's be- oh. Okay, art's happening. Enjoy the art. Can you enjoy the art when I'm talking about it? Is that ruining it for you? How's it- oh, that's- that's not- see? The way reflections work? You gotta back it- wow! Okay. New favorite thing. Need to start putting puddles down so I can watch the clouds through the puddles. Oh my gosh, look at that! It's blurry, but it's just so pretty. I've missed the clouds. Hello, Sky. It's so nice to see you again. The sunsets are really few and far between during the winter time here, and pretty clouds in general. And I don't, if you're new here, just so you know, I absolutely love clouds. Did anybody watch the Ajuga, Ajuga Hemigraphis video? See, I said in that video that these remind me of the Ajugas, and I still, I can't, can't even separate from that. It's been a few days. It's officially spring. Wasn't that sunset beautiful last night? And I am out here playing around with some plants. This bromeliad's been a little bit tricky to keep watered, so I'm just giving it a soak, and then I'll make sure to pour the cups out and put clean water into them later. But um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Look, you see that? See that? Those tricky little buttheads. I, you know, I put, maybe you don't know, I put the little ant stakes in the plants because the ants are important to control because they do a lot with the aphids and mealybugs and whatnot and i haven't been seeing them you know usually most years there's little lines of them going up and down the trunks of these areca palms but nothing so i was like oh cool the things are working and i have the de powder and whatnot no they've been coming from above that's what they've been doing they've been using this pole up here it's actually meant for backdrops but i hang plants from it and run watering line over it to that bromeliad and that's that's i found you oh my gosh Look at that. Ugh. Okay, that's too many. Hey, the goldfish are getting a nice meal, though. How y'all liking them ants? You like them? I swear they were eating them just a minute ago. They were up there chewing on them. This is... Wow. Well, I'm gonna have to do something about that, aren't I? Not a lot of stuff that I consider to be safe to use on bromeliads. I mean, that I have laying around. Even the peroxide can be a little bit rough, so I may even just give this a soak and just let it kind of do that but I, that's not going to that's not going to get rid of the ants though right i don't think it will i haven't been seeing them other places the vandas just had a good soak 
they're looking good and happy. Uh, I, I need to do some watering out here, though. There are a lot of really... Like, I just watered you. Bone dry. These, actually, I need to repot these. Expect a repotting video coming out here fairly soon because they, they just... The potting medium that they came in, no good. It doesn't retain any moisture at all. It doesn't need to. You know, usually bird's nest ferns are a little bit more drought tolerant, but these guys, eh, not so much. It's just drying out too quickly. It's not working for me. Well, that just there goes to show. You gotta stay on top of these things. I mean, I checked my plants, but I didn't see them up there because they were up there. So, gosh, who knows what's going on back here, back there. Although, can you see the bromeliads that are back there? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, last week, excuse you. Okay, so that bromeliad's in there. Last week, I uh, put the tree fern into a bag and sprayed it down to help with the mealybugs. I would consider doing that with these and then just giving a blast with um, DE powder, tying it up and letting them stay in that bag for, I don't know, even a couple weeks. But something tells me that a plastic bag isn't going to be all that useful with spikes like that. So uh, I don't really know what to do here. I just, I, I don't know. I just, sometimes you just go with it. It's whatever. So, you know, I couldn't just leave the bromeliad in there with all those ants, right? I went ahead and I just triple bagged it. Seems. Okay, fairly stable. It did cut through the first two bags, but the third one seems all right. There's still some air in there, and then I squirted some DE powder into it, which, where's my, hold on, let me find my thingy, my DE powder thing. It's over here, I can almost get to it. Right here, this guy, this. See it? You just use two hands, and I just sprayed that down in there very, very heavily. And uh, I don't know, really just like a couple of days should do the trick. That loud bang was me accidentally dropping a whole bunch of things that are behind me. So, th th I problem solved? Maybe? I don't know. The bromeliad was pretty wet. So this is, it can't stay in there for more than a day or two. Even that might be pushing it. Because uh, I don't want it to rot, right? I tried to shake as much of the water out of the cups in the center that I could, but I wanted to get it into these bags as soon as I could because it was the, there were ants everywhere. I didn't want to feel like being covered with ants. That water's still full of ants though. Probably gonna take a while for that to clear up, which kind of puts a kink in my plans. I was going to water tonight, I mean this afternoon, and then uh, do a DE powder application. I try and do those once a month out here, and uh, you need to water beforehand because if things are all wet, the DE powder isn't really effective, at least not until it dries, and even then it's not as effective. So uh, I guess I'll wait until morning because I just don't feel like sticking my hands in and out of the water with the ants. I'm not like afraid of bugs or ants, but I just, I'm not, I don't feel like having the crawlies all over me. That seems unnecessary and I'll end up just dispersing the ants. So I'm gonna let the goldfish, the shabunkins and fantails and everybody else in there, there's some paradise grommies and some other things. They can enjoy those for tonight. And uh, I guess we'll pick up in the morning. I did want to show you, look at one of my balls is blooming. That was a nice surprise to see when I came out here. You know, the air plants, they don't always bloom as prolifically as we would like them to. And uh, it's a nice reward when they do, right? So this one's bloomed the last three years in a row for me. And I just put it up on a hanger, I want to say, last summer, something like that. This other one, though, that's back here, not so much. I can see from the tips on it, though, see how they're kind of brown and whatnot, that I think it's just been drying out a little bit too much. I probably just need to give it some longer soaks and whatnot and do it. It needs some cleaning too. And we can see that. Yeah, it needs some cleaning. And I did, I gave this a soak. Like I wasn't just going to look at this beautiful fern and be like, oh, it's thirsty and ignore it. No, it's got a really nice drink. And I actually, I went and lifted it out and just wrapped its root ball in sphagum, which is extreme, but I don't have time to do that repot right now. It's going to be a few days. And like I said, the mix that it's in right now just dries like basically instantly within a few hours and that's too fast they can take some drought but that's too much that's not going to work for me and I'm sorry i'm sweating a moth away from me i did forget um i picked up some easter cactus at lowe's i had some a few years ago and uh, i love them and then i have a friend who collects cactus and i was like you can have them because i got kind of bored with them but then i saw them at the store and i was like oh i forgot that i like really like them i just like them for their shape even without the flowers on them so that's that was it oh no there was i got one other thing i'll show you in the morning hopefully i'll remember we'll, we'll pick back up then 
Wait, hold on. No, no. Just a second. <laughs> the only reason I kept talking, because y'all, it doesn't matter to you guys when it's night and then it's day. You can't. I'm inside, so who can tell? But I thought it would be uh, fun because I had people asking me about these sticky traps to go ahead and put one up now. And then we we'll check on in the morning and see how much it catches. The other ones have been catching a lot. I mean a lot. And I am not noticing as much stuff flying around, which is good. So go ahead and put up another one and see what happens. Where my didn't where where'd my twist ties go? Okay, there we go. Fresh sticky trap hung up. These are the ones I talked about in last week's vlog, the ones that are the non-toxic, pesticide-free, eco-friendly, still incredibly cruel, and I did I talked about how I don't I think sticky traps are mean, but they are effective so far for the flying bugs, the fungus gnats. And the white flies, those have been what I've been struggling with the most. They're catching a few mosquitoes. Not that many, though. So, I don't. we'll see what it looks like. There's already two others that are up. So, I mean, who knows how effective the third one will be. But, uh, but like I said, there were a fair amount of people asking about them through DMs and in the comment sections. I mean, just a few. Yeah, we'll check back in in the morning and see what's on there. We're just about to head into the house and look. Can you see it? You see? Maybe. Yes, no. Probably not. It's already got a couple white flies and a gnat on there. Turn the camera off about 30 seconds ago. Let's see what this looks like in the morning. Hey, <laughs> pumpkin. Oh, big stretches, but. Good morning, pumpkin. Pumpkin. Good morning, buddy. What you doing, Bucken? Okay, good talk. Oh, parrots. It got really cold last night, but it looks like the flowers hung onto the magnolia. Okay, my mic muffs wiggling around. I hope that doesn't mess things up. Can you even see what's going on there? Not really. I was thinking, though, that the cold would take those flowers off, but it didn't. It's really cold, and the roofers are still out there. I don't really feel like going outside right now. Okay, that's... Not really much better, and there's a lot of noise, but it, <sighs> I'll try and get pictures and make sure they're up on Instagram if it ends up putting on a show and the frost doesn't kill everything off. Oh, and the laurel hedge, they're, they've got little flower buds on. It's too, it's too much noise. I can't. We'll, we'll come outside and look at the garden for next week's video, but for right now, I can't. It's just too much. It's probably too much for you, too. You guys, you don't want to listen to this. Tucker? What are you doing? You hiding? You being a good hider? I'm sorry. Oh, it's so much noise. I'm so sorry. We'll go, it's time to go inside. Come on, Toby. Come on. Never a sense of urgency with this one. Oh, cookies. Right. My bad. I'm like, why are they staring at me? Because I almost forgot about cookie parties. Okay, you guys set? Toby, you gotta set. There you go, Tucker. Here, here we go. Very gentle. Very gentle. Good boy, Tuck. Good boy. Was that exciting? Probably not. You done? That was enough? Back to bed? Yeah, that's fair. Old man. I haven't watered this cactus. Were you waiting for me to say how long it's been? I, I don't know. It's been a long time. I'm thinking uh, maybe like f four months, which is normal. This is my... Why is it, the, why are y'all lit from the back like that? I mean, I know why. It's because the sun's behind it. But uh, it's the roadkill cactus. And I don't typically water this one very much during the winter time, like, at all. But I'd say it's time. Because it's, you can see it's, it's got some scar tissue and stuff going on there. Which is normal. These actually, the roadkill cactus, they'll start to get sort of like a woody sort of finish to them. But you can see, look at I'd say that that's a thirsty cact. You just want to look at the tortillas, huh? Thirsty cactus. I'm going and give us some water. Yeah, see, she's thirsty. Now that it's like officially spring, the day lengths are getting longer, so it is safe to go ahead and start watering this one again. Now, some cactus and succulents don't really need to be watered during the winter time with the shorter days and the weaker light exposure. I mean, you know, it's staying light out to like. 7.30 and that's just going to keep continuing on. So just a light drink, enough to make sure it's going out the bottom, just like one time and that's it. I should also probably clean this thing. 
I bet that you are really dusty and it's just not showing. Yeah, that's better. That'll pump right back up. Okay, before I hit record, I could see this perfectly fine. What's that all about? How about you? Can I see you? No. What's going on, camera? I mean, I guess that's not a fair test because this is full of holes. So, here we go. Look at that new foliage. I think that's what I like the most about this Calathea is the way the new foliage comes shooting up like a little trumpet or something. I don't know. It's just pretty looking. But I, I need to, let's go outside. Let's go back out to the garage and see what's going on out there. It's got some bugs on it. Not as much as I thought it. No, that's actually, it's got a lot on there. I don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera, but it's the white flies are the main thing. And they're the hardest ones to see on here. They're just tiny little white dots, but you see that? And then the gnats. And like I said last night, or I guess a few minutes ago for everybody else, it really, I'm noticing it's making a big difference. I'm not seeing anywhere near as many of them. Girl, I just watered you. Why are you so needy? Fine, it's because the humidity is kind of low right now. I'll go ahead and just give it another little light drink here. It'll be fine. Everything's okay. Actually, I've already been out and done some light watering. I think I need to go a little bit heavier. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to get to watering and then get this video out to everyone <laughs> and I just sat on my phone that's what just happened there it startled me anyways yeah I hope everybody's doing well I don't things are weird right now the vlogs are going to be weird as well I'm hopeful that next week it'll be nice enough to get outside and do some planting hopefully everything I got is mostly edible I mean not everything I'm going to be planting but the flowers and things like that, which I, I don't know why I felt like that was important other than I would like to have backup things to feed to my pets should uh, Missouri do a lockdown. Because some of the pets I have don't really uh, take well to pelleted type food. They prefer things that are fresh. And uh, there's a lot of, like with house plants, there's actually like for reptiles, they can eat spider plants, they can eat pothos, they can eat the... Uh, hemigraphis that are over here. They can eat some of that purple passion plant back there, the Ginura Arantiaca. Um, there's there's a lot. And I mean, some of these things are things that we can't eat, but they can, so I'm not really that concerned as far as that goes. But it just gives me a little bit of peace of mind. And I, the thing is, I plant pansies and dianthus every single spring, so no difference there. And the same thing with the lettuce. I've been thinking a little bit more about like what edible type stuff I want to plant this year. But I mean, I think it's pretty much gonna be the same as I always do. Tomatoes, peppers. Uh, I think I have some corn and some squash and some beans and then potatoes. They're all like, you know, pretty easy, basic things that I've, I didn't plant any potatoes last year. So that'll be fun. I need to get back into planting some potatoes outside. Potatoes are fun to grow. By fun, I mean just easy. They're very easy to grow. And the same thing with, I have those trellis. We'll talk about all that when the time comes. It's still a couple weeks so I can get the plants outside. With things like beans and squash, I'll probably just direct sow those. Why am I, I just said I was gonna stop. I'm not talking about it anymore. What are you guys planting this year? What, what's going on in your gardens or in your Homes or apartments, I've yawn, yawn, yawn lockdown, hands up. Not I'm, Missouri, where I am, it's not uh, mandatory yet, but I'm, I've been home for three weeks at this point. I've left the house four times. Two of those times were doctor's appointments. That was three weeks ago. I don't plan on going anywhere. Just, this is where I'll be, having the time of my life. Hope you are too. Yeah, I don't know, trying to stay positive. I uh, hope that the positivity doesn't ever come across as indifference. That's not the case, but I mentioned last week that I want, if, if you're here, take a load off, take your mind off and rest the chaos and anxiety a little bit. So that's what I'm going to continue to try to do. Plenty of plants here to play around with. So there's not gonna be any shortage of content, that's for sure. So I, like I said, I hope everybody's doing well and uh, as well as you can uh, having a great no 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 wait 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 poblanos we haven't done that yet uh what the... all right i need to didn't pay very much attention apparently when i was watering today the poblanos though they're doing well i mean like really really well if you've been keeping up which i would understand if you aren't because it's it's not that uh, it's not that exciting but these this one and i believe that one down there 
if you can even see it, those have been on the plant for like weeks and barely grown. And then I put them onto this wicking cord here so because they were just so incredibly thirsty. And look at how big these are. These peppers back here, those were just little flowers two weeks ago. They're almost as big as the ones that have been on the plant for like a month and a half. I'm enjoying the wicking cord. It's doing its thing. And basil's looking good too. Haven't had to touch it since I put that wicking cord on it. I'm very happy with how that's gone. Like happy enough to where I think I might go through and like on the Persian shield and some of the other things and start sticking that down into the soil. I probably won't do it on the Amazonica back there, but the rest of them I think they'd be okay with it. And the uh, um, heliconias that I got in that Home Depot haul are back here on the shelf. And they're looking pretty good. They seem happy. They're like in the grow lights and the humidity and the warmth. Their foliage has opened back up and that's what I wanted to see. The cupped foliage had me a little bit concerned. But no, they're okay. That was probably just a little bit of shipping stress. No big deal there. And then this is still going on down here. The This guy. Yeah. I'll leave that bromeliad in that bag for probably like, I don't know, two days. I don't want to leave it in there for too long because the plant's wet and I don't want it to rot. A couple days should do the trick or at least make a dent in the issue. And hello, Monstera. And now I have DE powder on my clothes. That's fine. I'm just wearing my scrappy plant clothes anyways. Yeah, what's everybody been up to? Comment down below. Let's have a conversation. Oh, and um, I just got notified this morning. Not notified, but when I went to look at my creator's app, uh, the video I released Thursday, I hadn't been showing any comments, and all of a sudden they're like 40. So I'm sorry that I haven't replied. Um, that's my bad. I'm sorry. I had only seen like a few comments. I don't know what that... Things are a little bit weird online right now. It's okay. It's not a big deal. We'll just go with it. But uh, so if that happens again, if it's like, hey, where's Jeff? I just... I don't know. My bad. I don't know. I'll try to just refresh things a little bit more often. So hopefully that won't happen again. What's everybody watching? People are binge watching stuff. I uh, made the mistake of... Well, not mistake. But I watched Pandemic on Netflix, which was fantastic, and I had heard great things about it, uh, but just like timing-wise, maybe not the best, but there were some things about it that were um, enlightening, so I, I enjoyed Pandemic. I started to rewatch Dexter, which is also on Netflix, but it's from Showtime, because I haven't seen that since it was on TV, and uh, that's more fun the second time around, because it's like you already know it's coming, so like the gory creepy sadness of the whole situation of that show it isn't as bad and I, like pick up a little bit more on the subtle humor that's there and um those are both really depressing things am i watching anything that's happy right now i mean i, I always watch reruns of the office not reruns netflix of the office and um parks and rec for a happy time. Sometimes I watch Weeds, the earlier seasons. I prefer the earlier seasons. I don't... What are you guys watching? Comment down below. Make suggestions to everybody. I'm going to get this guy repotted here in a couple of days. Listen not that... You see how much happier it is now? Just a little bit of water. I guarantee you tomorrow it's going to be sad again and it's going to want more water. It's I, I did lift it up and look at its roots and it's just like basically in lava rock with some styrofoam. Which makes sense because these were shipped from Hawaii. I'm, they were probably in a greenhouse that was really wet and really humid, and that makes sense for that climate. But for mine, that's not that's not going to work. Oh, I forgot that there were the other plants. Let's do the other plants real quick. It's not very exciting. It's just a couple spider plants. At Lowe's also had these big, great big, really nice, lush, healthy chlorophytums. They were two for fifteen bucks. Might have been fifteen ninety eight. But it's like, hey, that's a good deal. And I'm really picky about my spider plants. They have to have the orange runners on them. I don't like the ones with the white or the green. I don't know why. We all have our preferences. I just, I prefer the orange. And sometimes those are harder to find for some reason. So I grabbed two of those. I have two already that are in hanging baskets. I actually cut back and I've just been letting them rest for the winter time. But just to make sure I have some foliage around for my pets that only eat fresh like foliage that that's why I got those and I wanted to get two more of them this year anyways I was already planning on getting a couple more so it worked out that way uh, especially because oh no 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 can't have that where there's water on the ground I did get a big fresh bag of Missouri food for the tortoise but the pellet size is way 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 too small look at this 
Is that gonna show? Am I standing in the way? Now you see that? The pellet size is way too small for a tortoise. Like She's not gonna eat that. So my plan there, what I'm going to try and do is put these onto baking sheets and get them just moist enough to where I can compact them together and then dehydrate them in the oven as best as I can into larger pieces. So you don't wanna use high heat because I don't wanna lose the nutrition that's in there. Yeah, the tortoise isn't gonna eat that. There, there's no way. And then the supplier I ordered it from isn't shipping or doing returns right now, which I understand. So is what it is. It's okay. I'll figure it out. Okay, time to go. It's funny. You can tell their stomachs are full. They filled up on ants last night because normally they would just be harassing me immediately for standing here in front of them. Well, they kind of are. Not as much as usual though. But yeah, I got all my social media stuff linked down below in the description of the video. And you know, you do the whole YouTube thing with the subscribes, the likes, and that notification bell. That way you know when new videos come out. I don't know why for some reason I'm having trouble figuring out how to end this video. I could just say goodbye. Why don't I do that? As always, and most importantly everybody, keep on growing. Bye bye.